So here we are at the final video for the circuit board quilt. Uh, you'll see today the ending process. So the quilting on the Cunique 21 machine, as well as how I machine bind my quilts and the final reveal. So um, you'll get a peek at the pantograph before it's used and all the different steps and process and I'll even look at one of my quilt tags. So enjoy. So here is the Cunique 21 that we use at the shop. Um, we've got our long arms all set up and here is a look at the pantograph all laid out for my circuit board quilt. So it's got these kitties and moons and it kind of bounces back and forth and yeah I thought it was perfect. So I'm excited to get this quilt going. here at the shop Cali Quilt Co and I just finished long arming this and let me give you a little peek up closer of the cats in there. Let me get it so my color's a little balanced. So this is a pantograph that I got on Urban Elements, Elements with a Z and I thought it was perfect for my older brother who is all about black cats. Our family black cats have always seemed to reside with him. There we go. So I did, a, this is my first time doing a minky backing on a quilt as well. Um, so it's nice and soft and fuzzy. And now I just need to go home and put the binding on it. Also, look at these, those little moon swirls. So there we are. So now I'm gonna take it off the frame and since I am here still at the shop and there's a shop back here, I'm gonna use that to clean up my mess. So there we are. Okay, so here's where we're at. We've got the top all done. We've got the batting ready to go. We've got the quilting all done. So now it just means it's time to do some binding. So I'm going to machine bind it. Um, because it's super fast and I feel like I've gotten a lot better at it and I'm going to use one of my stilettos to pull it all into shape once I get ready to get to the front and then we'll be done. So I've got to find my, my quilt tags and get everything on there so then I can say done in 14 days because today is Wednesday so it's day 13. If I can get it done today, tomorrow's a rest day or I can get started on the next project. We'll see. Stay tuned. So we were all out of the mini spools, which would have been plenty to do this quilt, but we're all out of the mini spools at work and uh, I tried doing like a gray, but I just wasn't feeling it. And we just didn't want it to pop out like green. So now I am committed to this aggressively sized cone of glide thread. So if anyone local needs to borrow some black thread at some point, I can hook you up. So here is my one of my quilt tags. Um, I peel the backing off it. So I had my tags designed by a good family friend of ours, Holly, and she put my Elroy on there, and it's perfect. I couldn't. It was exactly what I was hoping for, and she made it so awesome that I had to buy two different versions of it. So this time you're gonna see the adult realistic Elroy tag. Next time you'll probably see the, the cartoony one. Um, so I fold it in half and then it's gonna get caught right in the seam with the binding and then it just hangs in there. And that's so perfect.
so the first round of bindings on it's all ready to go and i just want to show you this cool stiletto guy oh, come on it's not gonna focus so this stiletto let's do, ugh, hold on so this stiletto is what i'm going to use to kind of yank over and pull the binding into place so i don't have to pin a whole lot so in this other end is a seam ripper we got these as a gift from a customer who came in comes in the shop all the time and she got the whole shop seam rippers and stuff for for christmas so shout out to leanne who got us these super cool tools just got this little X marks the spot that's where I need to bury some threads and then it is all done so now you've seen the whole process from the quilting to putting the binding on and then sewing the binding to the front and now I didn't show you bearing the threads because that wasn't very exciting so and it was also handwork so it's hard to video anyways um, now you're about to see the final reveal of the quilt so success 13 days it took to make this quilt and I think it was well worth it. So without further ado, here's your final look at the first quilt of 26 and 21, the circuit board quilt. <laughs> 